One of the most popular add-ons permitted by the Final Fantasy XIV and user license agreement are reshaders, which can greatly enhance the look of the game, especially when it comes to creating some really amazing screenshots, but can also be used to enhance the look of general gameplay. However, before you dive in and install a reshader application such as G-Shade, be aware that there are a few settings that you can modify within the game to also help enhance how the game looks particularly in terms of graphics display resolution. Furthermore, good resolution settings will provide a nice foundation for whichever reshader application you choose to install, helping to make your game look even better. So first things first, let's open up the system menu, which can be found by clicking on the furthest button found at the bottom right hand corner of your window. Yeah, those little buttons down there. Once you've opened up the system menu, Click on the system configuration option, which you can find towards the middle of the pop-up window. Now that you have the system configuration menu open, the first primary submenu that you'll come to is called display settings. Beneath that, the first header on this menu is also called display settings. So what this controls is what monitor is going to be your primary monitor. This is especially useful if you play with two or more monitors. By using the setting, you can select which of your two monitors you want to be your primary display. Okay, next is screen mode, and you have a couple of different settings beneath this header. Windowed, borderless windowed, and full screen. The first of these is windowed. I find this setting particularly useful if I'm playing on one display and I want to have easy access to other applications, such as Discord. In addition, you can custom set your resolution, which is really great. Next, you have borderless windowed. This gives you the look of full screen, but your resolution will default back to your native screen resolution. The benefit I personally find to borderless windowed is easier and less encumbered access to additional applications than if I was using full screen mode. Last of these is full screen. Absolutely the best choice when playing with two monitors. This, in my opinion, offers the best resolution options. The downside to this is that you might have issues accessing certain applications, especially if that application wants to open on the screen that you selected as your primary display, which can be troublesome if you're using software such as OBS, screen capture software, or other software where you may be frequently adjusting the settings. Next, we have resolution. Resolution can only be custom set when you are either in windowed or full screen modes. The presets offer a list of standard preset resolutions that will fit most monitors. However, if you want to use a resolution that isn't listed, you can use the custom setting. If you are unsure of the native resolution of your current monitor or monitors, you can find this by right-clicking on your desktop and selecting display settings. In the window that appears, scroll down until you see something that says display resolution. Just beneath, you should see your recommended display resolution. After you've set your overall resolution to what you would like, you may notice that the resolution of your UI seems a little bit off. To adjust this, first select what level of resolution you'd like and would fit with your current setup, HD, Full HD, WQHD, or 4K. Select which resolution you'd prefer and then click the Apply button at the bottom of the window before adjusting any further settings. Next, we have default UI size. This goes hand in hand with high resolution UI settings. Now that you've adjusted your high resolution UI settings, it's time to adjust the size. Select one of the default size options from the drop down menu and then click the Apply All button beneath to see the new sizes of the UI objects on your screen. Next, we'll adjust our full screen gamma correction using the full screen mode gamma correction menu. This is another reason why I prefer full screen mode, as it really offers a lot of customization options when adjusting your settings. Gamma correction settings in particular helps to bring a richness to the colors and shadows in the game that can really improve how the graphics look. Using the slider bar, adjust the gamma correction settings to the level recommended below. 
once you've adjusted the setting to that level. And if you still want to adjust it further, just nudge it a little bit to the left or the right as you prefer. Now we come to character lighting. So after you've adjusted your gamma correction settings and the environment around you looks great, you might find that your character looks a little bit too shadowy for your liking. You can adjust this with the character lighting setting and it'll put just a little bit of glow on your character so that way they don't always look as though they're lurking in a dark corner. Finally, we come to the frame rate setting. The intent behind this setting is to help conserve resource usage with your computer and also to decrease the amount of heat that those resources would generate. However, from various opinions that I've read, there's a lot of debate on whether or not this is as useful as intended. As such, I encourage you to kind of do some research and decide for yourself. Personally, I don't put a limit on my frame rate, but I do have checked off limit frame rate when client is inactive, as well as limit FPS when away from the keyboard. That's just a personal choice that I've made in hopes that it does decrease my overall energy consumption, especially on a device that, if I'm being honest with myself, probably uses quite a bit of energy. All right, that's all for now. There are additional settings that you can modify to improve the look and feel of your game, as well as the performance. However, I'll be putting that in an additional video, which will be posted in the future. Until then, thanks for watching. Thank you.